Hello, welcome friends. Today we have uh, amongst us Natha Korn, Lauha Char Charion Sombat. Uh, sorry, Ray, uh, we fondly call him Ray, if I pronounce your name wrongly. And he is uh, among, the, among the leaders of M Plus Foundation. And uh, we are going to talk about a very important issue. As you know, Thailand has uh, been uh, setting a very important uh, positive example on the rollout of pre-exposure prophylaxis, which is which helps one of the tools to help prevent HIV transmission and post-exposure prophylaxis also, which is another tool. Uh, and why it was important? Because the uh, PrEP was uh, endorsed by UN, US FDA in 2012 and Thailand was one of the few countries in the world and of course a leader in the Asia Pacific region to show that rolling out PrEP and PEP is possible using community-led interventions. So we have Ray amongst us, Natha Khan from M Plus Foundation. We work very closely with civil society organizations, key populations, as well as government organizations to make sure that the, these important scientific tools to prevent HIV and other um, things which are important for HIV care are reaching the people who need them most. So welcome, Ray. Thank you so much, Bobby. I'm Ray Natakan Lohata, Smart Care Officer from M Plus Organization in Thailand. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. So, Ray, uh, you know, it came as a shock to us because I was in Chiang Mai at that time and in December, mid December, when UNAIDS PCB was happening, and I saw social media posts by UNAIDS, by other people, including M Plus where the delegates of uh, different board members of UNH PCB were being showcased how how good civil society can work so closely with the government officials and M plus was was in, uh, rightly uh, cited as an uh, important example uh, uh, for the world. So uh, I just want to know what happened after a few days. Like there, there was a decision made which has negatively impacted the rollout of PrEP. So over to you. Let, let us understand this more. Ray, Ray, over to you. Thank you. Okay. So um, yes, we, we also have heard like uh, from the announcement of the government in uh, after the mid-December last year, uh, the Department of Health Service Support has uh, public Health Ministry, the guidelines for providing PrEP service at CDOs. For example, like in plus clinic, swing clinic, or RSAT, uh, that results in an overall service change. Uh, at first, it provides a one-stop service and same-day PrEP in collaboration with hospitals or private service units, which is registered by the Department of Disease Control or NH. SO, National Health Security Officer, to be a PrEP service unit where CBO provides HIV counseling and testing and referrals to the service physician or prescribed CBOs and bring the medication store in the community clinic to the client after the doctor prescribed to them. That issue is that service must only be provided through collaboration with the government hospital. And the community clinic is unable to store medicine resulting. In. For example, like RSAT and Swings Clinic, two Bangkok-based CBOs that serve over 10,000 PrEP patients being forced to suspend operation and seek a government agency to partner with to offer services. As a result, the PrEP service was disrupted. You know, second of all, CBOs that are already engaged in PrEP service uh, with public hospital, I believe it's like over seven provinces, are not able to deliver the one-stop service and the same day, uh, even the same day PrEP because they cannot store medicine at the clinic. It requires service user to the community clinic for PrEP after HIV testing readiness come to the community clinic. Um, uh, assess assessment by community workers to travel to the hospital for PrEP, which they may not be able to do on the day of consultant resulting in delay in receiving the PrEP. There is a greater likelihood of becoming infected or not receiving medication due to avoiding the hospital. Many sites are difficult because of transportation and stigma challenges. 
you know. And um, the other second, uh, second uh, announcement, like uh, the NHSO, National Health Security Officer, has made an announcement uh, uh, concerning the use of the NHSO budget in 2023 this year. On December 28th last year, a payment for preventive and health promotion service, this is called PP, prevention and promotion budget, would only be made to Thai citizens with NHSO or UHC, with retroactive effect from the start of this fiscal year uh, in, in, in this year, 2023. Uh, the budgets are like analyzed from October 1st last year, resulting in, you know, a uh, first one, a Thai citizen with other rights, such as social security, government service, and state enterprise insurance, will no longer be able to receive HIV prevention service, such as HIV testing, PrEP, PEP service, even though condom service, which were previously free, you know, and we instead have to go to the service unit in accordance with their rights. Some of these protect, protection are not yet accessible in all units, you know. That will be impact more than 600,000 people are now unable to get HIV prevention service and are at greater risk of contracting HIV. Second of all, Thai citizens with other rights will not be able to enjoy their rights, which will entail other health prevention and promotion areas, such as you know, a vaccination service for children and adults and internal care for women of productive age. I'm talking about like people who are like uh, besides uh, HIV testing and PEP and PEP uh, prevention. And the other thing is for the um, a prevention project service supply by service units, including CBOs, will not be reimbursed in quarter one, since October 1st last. Wow, that is uh, so, so shocking to hear uh, one setback after another day. Um, my yes. all our heart and power to you all who are trying to uh, push for uh, you know reversal of this policy and uh, uh, no. let's hope sanity prevails. So what what I understand is from first of October, so civil society led community led interventions will not be reimbursed, right? And this decision was made in December. So, so who's going to pay for the services Correct. in October, November, December? Can you help us understand? Yeah. Um... So, so th this, this like reimbursement was for the prep, right? The cost of prep and the cost right, of right. delivery. Yeah. So, so uh, civil community organizations were procuring buying prep on their own, or was it being supplied by the government? Or how was it happening before? Uh, what's happening before? We're able to like reimburse or like testing from the CDOs, right? But now the government divide for people who have universal uh, health coverage be able to like to, to, to reimburse money from testing as a CEO. But for people who has like social security uh, scheme, SSS insurance, or um, people who work as a government a government like OFC insurance, they have, have to go to, to the uh, hospital where it belongs to the insurance. It is cause a um, difficulty time to 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 get there, but they want to keep maintaining service as a CBO. So what is difficult for us, like we, we, we figuring out, you know, to, to test for them and and it's still unclear. It's still unclear about me that uh, how we're gonna figure out how to clean and reverse money. Right. So, uh, so Ray, uh, as I understand, M plus uh, model was already working with government hospitals and government doctors, right? Yes. So, is is it also impacted? Like you can't store uh, medicines, perhaps, right? Prep. How how are you impacted? How is M plus impacted? Yes. Um, 
Absolutely, we got we we, we got impacted. You know, um, the hospital where we working with, uh, like not Hunting Hospital, we have a doctor medication. Uh, the hospital also rejected people who under SSS insurance and also um, uh, the, 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 the coverage for uh, universal coverage insurance only. So we have to figure out how to able to, to still able to provide people who have different insurance. So we move to we we be lucky that we have global fund. To, to still provide that, but it's just a temporary risk because, you know, global fund doesn't have much budget to provide a long-term type of treatment for other uh, patients who has different uh, coverage. And also, um, you know, uh, both of the information announcement means that the ties with other health rights about half of existing uh, recipients will be unable to obtain HIV prevention services. The communities most affected will be the key population, which includes uh, men who have sex with men, transgender people, people uh, with injecting drug, even those sex workers, because they are a group who might receive service at a medical facility on a difficult phase, you know. After all, there are a group of migrants and people who work and study have difficulty accessing their rights due to stigma and discrimination. People at risk of HIV infection have no access. To. It will be it will cause a higher risk of infection. You know, target aim at eliminating HIV by 2030 will be impossible. You know, and other causes, um, I believe the percentage of STI infection that may be prevented by using condom would have rised, you know, under the prevention program budget. It also caused other uh, 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 key population, which is not related to m -plus, but I believe like children will not obtain the required vaccination due to age. Reducing the effect of defense or not against protection. There is an excessive risk of infection with several disease and higher chance of illness and death. Um, even though talking about um, um, elderly people, other key population, the elderly and vulnerable and at risk of do not have access to vaccination service, raising the risk of death and illness. So it's, it's, it's all of above, it's, it's kind of like not just impact to the CBO, what we are working for the NH in 2030, but it can expand and cause other infection people to all of the Thai citizens. Right, absolutely, totally agree with you. It, it is going to very, uh, it's a very sad situation that uh, almost uh, about one and a half or two months have passed. Imagine the impact on HIV prevention and also other services, so yes. which is really so shocking. Um, I um, really hope that uh, your efforts bear fruits and this uh, policy reversal happens and um, the Thailand continues to progress towards its commitment to end AIDS by 2030. And now, uh, less than 95 months are left. So, so time is running out, but people's lives matter. So, uh, so Ray, um, so I, I, uh, I read the news that uh, nine organizations, including M Plus, um, met the parliament, or tried to meet the prime minister. Then there was some meeting happened on 18 January, I guess. Uh, so, so are you aware of like, uh, what is the progress? What is Thai government giving the reason for, for, for not reversing it quickly, urgently? Because lives matter. Over to you. Um, you know, um, what's the announce? You know, from 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 the government, the NHSO and the Ministry of Public Health explained that it is mandated by law. That's the reason that they gave to us. You know, um, and and they have two reasons. The first one, the reason the Department of Health Service Support 
issues such guidelines on prep service, causing CDOs to stop providing service as before, is because under hospital law, community clinic cannot store any medicines. Before that, you know, even though it is a national strategy to end AIDS, it is against the hospital act, which might result in the question, arrest and forced service closure in many provinces from other agencies who do not understand HIV work. Um, second of all, the NHSO announced that the NHSO's a PP budget, or you can call a, a prevention a project budget, does not cover people with other rights because a legal advisor to the Minister of Public Health, who is also the chairman of the NHSO. Note in section nine and 10 of the NHSO Act that those with social security rights and government rights would use the budget in uh, accordance with their rights. As a result, the original NSSO funding intend to pay uh, the uh, prevention project sites to all time. People was declared illegal. As a result, it must be submitted to Russia, uh, which means uh, the country's legislative body for interpretation and justification you know so in the meanwhile the nhso and the ministry have distributed guidelines here for example like four cdos that provide prep service to collaborate with government agencies to establish service procedure that allow physicians and pharmacists to participate in the prescription and dispensing process via the telemedicine system as well as to make an exception to the prep medicine at the community clinic and the quality control and monitoring by cooperative hospital. It, this answer did not come up when the Department of Health Service Support issued guidelines. It was only implemented later on uh, uh, January 18 this year, after CBOs and network apply pressure to social and other complaints, you know, for non uc recipients of uh, PP service have the right to receive service at the hospital from government organizations in accordance with their rights. The Ministry of Public Health is in charge of facilitating reimbursement for service expenses by asking for decision from the state council, which means this process takes approximately three to four months in practice. However, the Ministry of Public Health does not convey any document or clarification to live agency. That's, that's, that's all, but I can, I can uh, understand, under, understand it from the government's like, you know, announcing and what we try to, you know, like figure out what what the government really wants, uh, what hospitals, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, uh, totally. And that's, uh, this is really so uh, shocking. And I really don't know how to, um, uh, why, why uh, th a government like Thailand government which is committed to end AIDS by 2030, which has earlier uh, for so many years worked so closely with community-led um, organizations and community-led interventions have um, have taken place in Thailand, which was like an example for so many other countries that this is how it can be done. So like, for example, same day, not only same day, uh, ensuring that the person when he walks mm -hmm. into the center gets prep in one hour and the whole process community showed that this is possible. So amazing, really, Ray. So Ray, please uh, let us uh, under um, please share our M plus example of uh, of uh, when did you begin? When M plus began prep and prep rollout? Uh, how uh, how was your experience and challenges when you started when M plus started working with government organizations? How what were the what, did you feel stigma? Did you feel any challenges? Because now so many other organizations will 
be forced to do this. And right now, is prep uh, services happening in uh, at M plus centers or uh, in Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, and other provinces mm -hmm. or not? Doctor, just just please help share the M plus uh, journey. Okay. Um, let me back to the um, after announcement, right? Uh, 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 after the the the, the uh, prime minister office or parliament, you know, like announced on 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 July uh, nineteen, uh, we 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 submit a letter to the senior public health commission, and on February second, we receive a letter of clarification starting that it has invited relevant agencies to clarify. However, it is uncertain because no document support or indicate that CEOs can continue to provide service, right? The clarified information was to general did not indicate the agency what would coordinate or follow up. And there is no time frame to be set, you know, such as like relevant agency have request permission for a partnership with service agency, but within and outside of the uh, Ministry of Public Health to allow CEOs to deliver prep service. Um, according, like we do, like a, a same day prep service or one hour of service, right? Um, uh, so providing service by waiting for further legal uh, clarification that would come into use in the long term. The NHS Social Security Office and all the general department are discussing a proposal to the administration to interpret a royal decree to make an NSO, uh, an NHSO budget application to all citizens. So what what can plus what M plus do after the resubmit in, in January night, you know, in term of the prep service given by CEO or M plus, uh, they must collaborate with the Department of Disease Control and the Ministry of Public Health as the ministry's major HIV related agency. Uh, PP service that do not cover right else than UC must follow up with the NHSO2. Uh, uh, what's because we call expedite the submission of the decree and with the Ministry of Public Health to procure budgets from other resources of course, uh, HIV and other services, so as not to endanger public health of people must continue to use social movement. So M plus, you know, as an M plus um, in Chiang Mai and other uh, uh, branches such as something like Chiang Mai, Singapore. And the uh, we we have we have community centers like uh, 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 do prep and prep service clients since two thousand sixteen under the pilot for prep implementation in Thailand. Beside M plus, there are other eight CDOs in eight provinces across Thailand. This result in more than. Uh, 60% of PEP users in Thailand accessing to the service to the community service. And, 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 you know, uh, in, 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 in Thailand, the new case for starting PEP, like new PEP, uh, the average is about 700 clients per month for all 12 cities. Uh, talking about in plus four branches, we have new PEP taker, uh, about 200 clients a month. And the ongoing, the ongoing uh, prep user um, in Thailand is about two thousand five hundred clients per month uh, from all twelve CDOs, and around five hundred clients, five hundred clients for uh, M plus, which is including Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Pisiloro, and Nakhon Rajasthan. You know. Um, I think it's it's you know like when I look through the number and percentage you know from the government like announced like this it's it's really impact that you know, we have we 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 want to prevent we want to to support the community we want to make things go easier um, and also like as a CDOs we help hospital we we we, we you know and also after the COVID nineteen pandemic CDOs really help a lot. To uh, not to let people go to hospital and make, make 
you know, like we pack over there and we try to make a service go easier. So, you know, um, it's 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 kind of like a little um, obstacle for us to work on and to help, you know. Yeah, to, to, to and if in sorry, yes. sorry. go ahead, go ahead. And then and, 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 and you know when we're talking about we, we do prep and prep service, right? Um uh, when when mentioned to about like in Chiang Mai, you know, the 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 especially like uh, or the government hospital in Thailand or in Chiang Mai, you know, uh we uh, yeah, we also provide service at the hospital, the Ministry of Public Health and NHSO have started public sighting for the hospital across the country to provide PEP service since 2020. But until now, only about 152 hospitals across the country provide service. You know, despite the fact that the hospital provides a service, the number of who receive service at home. So it's, it's so small that some places only have just 10 clients, you know, for prep and prep service in hospital. Compared to MPRAS, we have at least, you know, up to hundreds of clients. Yeah, so it's Wow, the, 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 those are very huge numbers, and uh, uh, so, so, and more importantly, Ray, probably the people which Mplus is uh, uh, serving and helping sure that prep, pep, and other services reach them are the ones who may be left out of uh, mainstream services by government services and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like you, uh, very very important uh, uh, work which was being done and showcased by Thai government itself. As a, as a gold standard example for other uh, board mm -hmm. members of UNAIDS and worldwide, um, uh, I, let's hope that uh, the your efforts uh, and collective efforts of uh, Thai uh, CSOs uh, bear fruits and uh, this gets in play back. Uh, any closing thoughts? Any closing uh, messages? Anything which I might have left out and which is very important in this issue? Over to you. I I you know. From my from my perspective, I, I believe I, I believe that the government can do better than this. You know, uh, we will we 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 one hundred percent would love to work with the government, but it has to come to uh, uh, the right way. You know, like twenty thirty is not that far from now. You know, it's just seven years, and we want to complete our mission. I believe that we we should work together. The government should. Listening from the communities, you know, even like uh, this, the CEOs around Thailand and the key population, they, they they need support, you know. So when they get support, we have to provide them as much as possible. Don't give them a hard time to to get the service, you know. And and talking about um, PEP, PEP or HIV or even other like disease, you know, uh, I mean. Not just the Thai, not just the Thai citizen who live in Thailand. I would love all people who are living in Thailand, even like people who are undocumented or foreigners, they also deserve to get the free service. Because I believe that, you know, all, uh, as I work for human rights, I want people to have like equal you know, and, 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 and able to access um, to, to the healthcare. No matter what, because um, working for prevention, working for prevention, it has to be everyone working together, not just hey you have insurance like this, hey you not high, hey you are, and 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 you not you not going to get recover. How is that possible to end it by twenty thirty? That's my message. You know, I I would love to work together with the government, but the government need to to listen. Uh, our voice. That's that. Uh, that's my message of the ending. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ray, and all power to you, all solidarity. We are with you, uh, even if we are not in Thailand right now. Um, and uh, we really hope that the kind of work which M Plus was doing, even our governments in India and other governments, please learn how to uh, engage communities more meaningfully and let them do it. And this um, uh, problem in Thailand gets resolved as soon as possible because as Ray rightly pointed out, it is about lives and we are really missing out on um, uh, on time and we are um, the, uh, um, so let us hope that happens. I will just quickly like to share Ray. I was personally so um, you know excited because I've never ever seen anywhere in the world that I saw prep um, you know uh, public health promotion uh, posters in uh, Chiang Mai Central Fest uh, Airport Plaza Mall in, in the, near the food court. I also saw it at a wellness center near uh, uh, Walled City Sri Pum corner in Chiang Mai. This is so amazing because, you know, in India, for instance, we are at so, so far behind. We have missed out on 11 years since PrEP came out of the science, you know, and USFDS USFDA stamped it. I think another very important message is uh, which Thai government and M plus foundation and others have shown is that when new prevention tool comes out of science, then we need to quickly make sure that it reaches out to people right. who need it. Otherwise, what is the right. point of investing so much on research and things? And M plus has shown how to do it, how to engage communities effectively and how to work with the government and how to make sure that um, the product like PEP, PEP, these scientific tools convert into public health gains. So um, this yeah. problem, which which has happened right now, let us hope that this, uh, you know, uh, and soon. So thanks a lot, Ray, again. Thank you so much. And uh, uh, all power to you. And looking forward to reading the news very soon that this policy reversal happens and rather Thai government um, uh, engages communities even more strongly. All the best. Take My care. Friend, Bye -bye. Friend, power problem. to you all. Nothing can, nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop in class. We still running the campaign for prep. We still doing prevention. And I believe India in, in the short future can do the same like us too. And we would love to help if in, in India uh, CDOs need, need help from us. We would love to be, um, uh, you know, like example, like no matter what the obstacle from the government political climate happen, we will keep engaging with the committee and running the campaigns for to end AIDS in 2030 for sure. Thank you so much, Rob, and, and, and I'm happy I'm happy to be here and thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, Ray. We are in this together. Thanks a lot for underlining it again. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank bye -bye. you so much. Bye-bye.